looks like Noda is going to be your winner of this Portuguese Grand Prix. champion. JJ splits the middle, gets past both drawings. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in another race on Foxes Racing League. As always, in a beautiful Sunday, we are today in the beautiful Montreal, Canada, but we have some kind of Portimao, Portugal. Uh, so I believe it's like the broadcast uh, problems. Never mind, uh, we are already on the qualifications uh, of today's race. But today we have some changes because our beautiful voice of the Foxes Racing League, Bradley, is sick. And as a human being, he just needs to take a rest. So today we will be commentating with Kenny. Welcome, Kenny. Hey, it's good to be back. Um... Glad to be back here at this track as well. So, uh, kudos to Brad for all the hard work, but he deserves, I think, a well-needed break. So, uh, happy to step in for him. Exactly. Um, so today we have two Canada Grand Prix in Fox's Racing League and the real one. Of course, mo first of all, we need to focus on FRL. Then we can talk something about uh, about the real one. But um, today. In a special occasion, our race is a little bit earlier than normally uh, because of the ERL race. And today, I don't know why, Jack is already um, DNF'd. I'm not sure why. Something's yeah, I'm not happened. sure what happened there either. I uh, just kind of poofed. Exactly. So, um, we don't have enough uh, drivers and we wouldn't have a full grid because of the time of the race. So I believe some kind, of, some part of uh, drivers just couldn't handle this uh, time. But uh, 13 drivers, very strong names. So we don't have a leader part, uh, participant uh, as a Gregson. So today race will be a very, very important race. Definitely for Tazo, uh, for Ignas. Who are still in fight for the championship, right? Yeah, that is correct. Uh, so, uh, looking at the standings here, uh, going off the of last round, it is a pretty tight contest between Ignis and Graxent. Um, and I think, you know, like you said earlier, uh, 13 cars on track, but this should still be a good contest because all of these drivers are very, uh, very quick, very consistent, and uh, hopefully we have a, a good one. Exactly. Uh, we have inside info from uh, Jack that his brake pedal just broke and he didn't know about it. So it oh, must be painful. Yeah, and uh, I hope he will manage to change that brake pedal. Maybe for the clutch pedal. We will see. Cross, finger crossed for Jack. But uh, right now, uh, as we can see, we have Ignas, we have Tazo on the track. Currently, I'm watching Tazo. Uh, one of the McLarens was spinning out in the second sector. Uh, but we will see. What do you think? What time we can predict on the qualifications? There will be some some kind of uh, driver that fast that will go under one minute and ten seconds. 
Uh, I want to see these first couple laps here as we see Amaro's put down a 111-411. Uh, uh, I want to see what we kind of see. Um, well, right away, Buchek's getting to the 110s as well. So, um, I don't know. Uh, what's what's the record? Do you know what the record is at this track for um, for uh, kind of race, race quality? Um, actually, it's hard to predict because from the previous games, uh, it was like under uh, 1 minute and 10 seconds. Uh, as we can see right now, Ignaz is uh, very close to that gap, and I believe it will be easily broken. But we yeah. will see. We will see. Yeah. Making me eat my words, but yeah, uh, the uh, first few laps there, from the, especially those top four uh, gaps, are kind of uh, for these first kind of uh, banker laps are, are, are kind of tight. So, um, and of course, they'll only get tighter as we get towards the end of the session as well. So, um, yeah, I know. Uh, looking back at you know, kind of just. My uh, my experience watching these guys uh, race, I know, uh, looking forward to seeing uh, Ignis go out there, Buchek, uh, Tazo, uh, and also uh, Maros as well. So, uh, but also Debe is also always uh, kind of always in the fight in the mix as well. So, you know, we'll see what happens um, uh, here with this uh, 13 card set. Yeah. Uh, right now, Debe have some kind of problems. I believe it's problems with the setup because I've seen him. Uh, simultaneously uh, spinning in some corners so uh, right now he has uh, damage on the wing so I believe he need to go to the pit lane to change it uh, nevertheless we still waiting for the Kuchor and Juro because only these two drivers don't have a time from the qualification session and we cannot forget that we have today a sprint race right um, is that uh, <laughs> let me check here? I'm yes, not sure. Yes, we correct. have. Yeah. Yes, we have. That, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I, I wasn't uh, uh, quite ready with for that one, but uh, yeah, um, always interesting when you have a sprint race. Um, I don't think I've ever seen one that uh, disappointed. This one specifically will be very important because of the additional points that drivers might receive, uh, for fighting for the championship, right? So, um, yeah, I believe uh, Tazo, Ignaz, John Meister will be definitely fighting for these points. Uh, we still have Puhac uh, and any other driver that uh, definitely these points will be very important for them. You have zero out on an outlap um, right now. Uh, just kind of wanted to circle back on Debe for a second. Um, he had a, he's got the potential because he had a good start to the season. Uh, had a, you know three top 10 finishes in a row and then he kind of just fell off. Um, towards the end, unfortunately, but uh, um, I uh, I root for him to score some uh, big points today uh, to to finish up uh, what I was saying earlier about him. But uh, yeah, uh, you have uh, Zero uh, coming around, getting ready uh, to round the final chicane here and uh, start his uh, flyer to hopefully put up a, a good time on the board. But uh, uh, currently, your top five, uh, including the uh, uh, Mercedes lockout at the moment with Ignis Varnes and uh, John Meister up there, but. Uh, uh, Braun, Dormati, and Buchek uh, in tow. Excuse me, uh, Matush. I said Dormati in P4, but it's Matush. Yeah, it's Mateusz. We've seen it as a Dormati uh, because it, it was like his old nickname. And yeah. Buchek right now placed himself on the P5 with uh, 1 minute 10.7. Uh, but we have information that Juro of the purple sector one, so he is currently flying. Let's check him right now because this might be really interesting. Nevertheless, we're still waiting for a Kushor uh, for a finish his uh, hot lap, and then we will see when Kushor, uh, where Kushor and Juro will place themselves. Yeah, we'll see if uh, Zero can bring the heat here as he um, is looking to go. Um for at least to break up that uh, uh, that Mercedes dominant right now uh, spot on the front row. Still got a lot of time left though as he clips the wall there coming out of the uh, final turn. What will it be for zero? P10 at the moment. Yeah, not great, not bad time. One minute, 12 seconds, point three. But uh, definitely that exit on the last chicane will could be possibly a little bit better, but I believe he lost attraction and that's why he gently hit the wall, but still 
Kushor is on the flying mode right now and I can see that Kushor have some connection issues because he was currently on the in the half of the chicane but somehow he managed to teleport himself but he, he's teleporting himself in front of his teammate Deba but right now Deba is also on the last chicane he's going on the main strength and we will see what time Deba will achieve and he is currently on the P8 1 minute 11.4 10. Right now Puhaj also is finishing his another hot lap and he's placing himself on the P5. Yeah, uh, that was a good lap uh, from him. But what do you think, um, as Baron's still in the pit, but uh, what do you think the story with Ferrari? What happened to Ferrari um, towards this final stretch? They were kind of challenge challenging uh, Mercedes, it seems, but it uh, uh, seems like they're falling behind a bit. Yeah, um, maybe a few bad races, it happens, and I believe it's pretty normal. Uh, today, I don't know why we don't have Graxen, and I was truly convinced that he will be fighting for the championship, but his absence, I will say, will be a really risky move uh, for the Ferrari, because... I believe it might be a really difficult just to catch out in the next because I believe we have uh, if we wouldn't count Canada we will have two races left until the end of the season right so I believe uh, there will be really a jo hard job to do in front of the Graxen and the whole Ferrari just to achieve uh, the constructor championship and the driver championship yeah I would agree well said um, got a few guys getting closer up here. Top six getting kind of familiar as uh, we see, um, you know, Puchach and Buchek round out that top six. But uh, do you think we'll have a, a little bit of a shootout finish towards the end of the season? Or what, what are your predictions uh, going into this race and beyond? Uh, it's pretty hard to predict right now because, as as I told uh, previously, uh, Ignaz is in the best spot right now uh, for fighting for the championship right now Tazo is behind Butik on the P7 uh, so so yeah it might be a little be it might be a little difficult uh, for for him uh, because he need to catch some really important points uh, but that Graxon's absence also might be a useful thing for him but for now it, it's it's really hard to say right now Ignas without the competition right now with an amazing time 1 minute 9.8 so it's like over half of the second in front of his teammate right um i will say we had a beautiful shot of matush getting a, a little bit of sideways going into that final exit almost clipped the wall but he didn't but he also got up into p3 with a 110 366 exactly right now butchak is finishing his another hot lap uh 1 minute 10.7 right now but he didn't improve his time at all right now so maybe he will be preparing for another one we will see we will see maverick one minute 11.9 also on the uh, last drs section zone coming to the last chicane and we will see that he is deciding to go to the pit Okay, and I found that uh, Baran is finishing his lap right now. 1 minute 10.3. Uh, so he is jumping in front of the Dormati on the P3. So, of course, we need to remember that this qualification session is uh, placing drivers on the sprint race, not the main race, of course. Yeah, we'll say a little bit of a uh, between Baran and uh, Matush uh, P3, P4 exchange they're going on. Uh, we'll see if that uh, a little bit of a rivalry continues going to these uh, last five minutes here, uh, five minutes and 20 seconds in this session. Um, still impressed with these uh, these Mercedes times so far. So, I mean, do you think anybody can challenge uh, these guys or do you think this is going to be kind of uh, Mercedes against everybody else as far as quality is concerned? Um, I'm afraid that 
Ignace and John will have an amazing pace and maybe Baran and Mateusz will be able to catch this pace, but it's difficult because on one hand uh, you might be a torpedo on the Portimao and you can be flying, but for example Mateusz maybe could not feel the uh, Canadian Grand Prix and maybe he will not be able to find this pace uh, just to catch out the Mercedes boys. Uh, I'm really amazed about uh, his uh, their form and uh, truly convinced that they are able to achieve uh, a very amazing goals. But still, se uh, this season, uh, se season is not over and they need to fight until the end. Of course. Um, I will say, uh, Debe, quick note, Debe up in the P6. P6 with a 110.605. Um, so that's going to be... Um, Another another good showing, kind of tightening up that uh, gap to uh, the rest of those guys, and I wonder if he'll get up past Buchek, but uh, we'll know uh, Puhash is, uh, has got plenty of left in the tank as well. Maros coming across the line. It's going to put him in P8. Yeah, he jumped in front of the Maverick and uh, pushing Tazo out to P10. So this is something new that we don't see. Uh, most of the time, uh, but I believe there is something happened with uh, an Alpine car because Tazo is sitting in a really, really long time in a pit lane. Maybe he was waiting for the uh, track degradation uh, or I would say the upgrade of the track. Maybe he will find out uh, sometime right now, but we'll see. Jura just spun on the hairpin. So nothing, nothing. Uh, I would say amazing doing on this qualification session. It's like standard, normal uh, afternoon in the uh, Montreal right now. Just another day at the office here at uh, FRL. But uh, I will say you do have, um, um, let's say, four cars, five cars uh, now out on a uh, flying lap. Now John Meister just now starting his his hot lap, but. Uh, I think Kushor is uh, up there as well. So, gonna, gotta gotta see a lot of guys coming out of the pits just now uh, to get that those final laps in. As uh, just uh, just under two and a half minutes left to go in this session, and then it's uh, it's sprint race time. Exactly. Uh, I want to see how Stazo is doing because he just begun his uh, hot lap, and we'll see um, because this one actually. Uh, amazed me the most right now. He invalid his uh, time lap, so we still need to wait for another one. And I believe it will be the last chance, last score for the Tazo. Because uh, as far as I see, we have less than two minutes until the end of the qualification session. Yeah, it's, uh, if you can put the hammer down, you can get a uh, one final lap at the buzzer. Uh, if you're kind of going to end your uh, stint at the uh, last few seconds. But uh, I will say uh, I'm rooting for one of these P3, P4, P5 guys to kind of just... And also, I want to say Zero is going to maybe have some potential maybe to, to impress. But, you know, I I like seeing lockout, front row, uh, front row lockouts. But at the same time, I like a challenge to kind of... Uh, especially with how competitive those two are, to see somebody kind of split those two to see how strategy plays out and all this and that. But uh, I don't know. It might be a Mercedes uh, a Mercedes uh, lockout throughout the race. And who knows? Barring any carnage. Exactly. And there's no one other than Ignace that goes under 1 minute and 10. So makes it more impressive. Uh, actually, I was driving yesterday and I was able to find some time on the time trail. I have also something like 1 minute 0 0.08, something like this. But finding that much time as Ignas done right now, so it's almost two tenths of a second. Uh, uh, hats off, Shapoba, creme de la creme, as always Brad is saying. And I have no other words because this is just amazing. 15 seconds left to go. We're going to see a couple cars. Oh, let's see what's... Um, we got John Meister. Um, is he going to be on another lap too? Yeah, he's going to be on one. 
I wonder if Baron, if Baron will sneak one in. It's a session over for Maros and Zero. Taza's done. P6 for Tazo. P2 on John Meister, P9, Myros, and Juro. Oh my god, Ignas is go even faster. 1 minute point 6. This guy is just flying. Like, come on. It's 6 tenths of a second in front of John Meister. Uh, Braun will not... Um... Oh, oh, Willie, you just put a purple sector 2 down. Nice, nice. It we wasn't populating on my screen. Yeah, we need to wait. Mateo just decided to retire because he was standing uh, with his car on the wall. Right now, beautiful, beautiful exit from Baran right now. And we will see... Yeah, he jumped in front of the John Meister, so Baran. Amazing time, but still not under the 1 minute and 10. Only 9 tenths. Amazing, cool. amazing pace, but still not enough just to catch in front of the Ignis. Close there, but uh, he is not a member of the 109 club. So shout out to Ignis Varnes uh, for this uh, for this poll. Exactly. So uh, our qualification session is over, and beautiful job done by everyone. Of course, uh, expect except Jack because. Uh, he's, uh, how is it called? Hey, uh, don't sleep, unlucky I think, but don't sleep yeah. on Jack. He's got the pace there as long as he can stay consistent and, uh, we might see him, uh, might see him up there, up in the field, so. Exactly, so, as always, uh, a few seconds break for us and we're coming back in a moment in the sprint race. Okay, every driver is standing on the grid lane and we're waiting for the five red lights and the lights out and away we go. Just look how uh, clean everybody just turned out. But uh, there's something happening between uh, Maverick, Jack and Juro. Right now everybody is going so clean, wheel to wheel. Uh, Buczek is already attacking on Mateusz and he's placing himself on the P4. Also Jack is trying to attack and uh, he's in front of the Debe. And of course, uh, it's only 12 laps of the sprint, so uh, drivers have, I would say, a small time for prepare themselves for the for the main event right now. Ignas uh, currently leading, John Meister losing a six, uh, 0 0.6 uh, behind Ignas Baran, and Jack again fighting with the Kushor. I didn't saw that moment when Kushor uh, was overtaking Debe, but coming back, Juro. Uh, slept a little bit uh, the start on the beginning and right now he is currently last. Yeah, I will say a little bit of a slow start from Zero in the Haas uh, down in P13 at the moment. Uh, he had a couple cars actually were slow to get away, but uh, um, you know, Ignis and John Meister up in front, P1, P2, of course, Mercedes lockout, go figure. But uh, we're going to see um, hopefully a fairly clean late race throughout because that was a I would say a fairly clean star. I saw one of the Alpines get sideways, but he recovered. And uh, we're 13 up and 13 down as uh, Puhash is in the pits. Yeah, currently Debe, when we really check, Debe lost three positions uh, since the beginning and Puhash lost five positions. The rest of the drivers, only uh, Mateusz and Baran lost uh, one position per each driver. So yeah, uh, we need to wait because of course it's only the second lap uh, we still don't know anything about uh, driver space. They are going like in the time trail, but nothing fancy is happening on the track right now. Uh, we can see uh, time gaps, but it will be extremely difficult to overtake without uh, DRS zone. Of course, we will have it until, until the next lap and then we will see that maybe We'll see some fancy moves because Mateusz is uh, closing to the Buczek. Right now, Jack get overtaken by Myros. So, uh, also a beautiful move from uh, Aston Martin driver. Ignaz with the fastest lap of the race, 1 minute 12.1 right now, uh, currently leading the race. DNS, DRS enabled. So, let's start show begin. 
Yeah, I will say, uh, I think a bit of a sportsmanship is Jack's already up in the P8, but uh, Jack made a little bit of a contact with uh, Maros, and uh, he almost spun him out, but he uh, had passed him in P7, but he gave the position back, uh, as now both are up in the P6 and P7 now. But a uh, bit of a battle between those two, um, as we uh, see Baran and uh, Baran tumble down the field. Yeah, Baran just spun on the Sector 1. And uh, in the meantime, Myrus also received a 3 second time penalty because of the uh, limits of the track, I believe. Multiple warnings, so uh, he is the first one that received any penalty. Right now, Butchek is losing almost 3 seconds behind John Meister. John Meister losing over 1 second behind Ignas. And Tazo is currently. On the closest one right now jack fighting with myrons once again jack with the drs uh coming to the last chicane ignas with the fastest lap of the race i believe uh, myros received another warning for uh cutting corners and uh, jack somehow from the last to p6 right now myros now dangerously uh light breaking and almost die bomb uh on the back of, of the jack but uh this move cost him a lot of the time yeah, I think he's driving uh, kind of frustrated at this point as he's, you know, uh, not having too good of a start to this race, but uh, we'll see if he can kind of get it together and, and uh, get stuck back in. Baran on the P12 currently losing three and a half seconds back to Juro. Puhat losing 15 seconds, so I believe this one will be extremely difficult to catch out uh, the rest of the drivers, but the rest is just like sitting over and just driving in front on the road. Mateusz right now three uh, four tenths uh, of the second behind Buciek with the DRS. We will see that uh, he will catch him on the main straight. I believe uh, Buciek is defending it like a lion right now using a lot of the battery just to not getting uh, overtaken by Mateusz because uh, we know that uh, Mateusz uh, have an amazing pace and uh, he will be trying to perform an amazing attack on Buczek, then Buczek will have definitely some kind of problems. Yeah, uh, Matusz is all over the back end of uh, Buczek here, as we see. We're going to see him make a move, I think, here here before long. Um, is that another penalty for Maros? It might be. Oh. That's rough. Uh, unlucky for him for this start. He, he just kind of lost it. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I will say Ooh. this. Uh, what happened there? We see uh, the camera angle on my screen is just out. Mateusz just spun out and uh, a lot of drivers just overtaked him because I believe too much heat on the uh, front wheels. Yeah, the camera on my screen just panned into behind a fence. So all I can see is this fence and no car. <laughs> Jack is just behind Tazo and he's in the DRS section. We can see the right uh, red uh, led dot behind the car of the Tazo. So I believe what a move from Jack. How he found yeah. a space in that last chicane. That was an amazing move from the Jack. Outrageous. Yeah, that, uh, that, uh, that was a bit of a move and a half there from Jack up in the P4 from last place with uh, just now at the halfway point of the race. But right now, Maverick going wheel to wheel with Kushor and I believe there was a contact. That's why Kushor is uh, laying on the wall. Uh, they both uh, didn't want to get stopped and they didn't decide to slow down a little bit, going safely uh, for that corner. And then uh, I believe there was a small contact. I would say it was racing incident, but of course it's not my job. It's a part job of stewards. And then, now of course, after the race, we will see some reports and, of course, the decision of the FIA. But right now, let's go back to the business. Uh, Tazo losing less than one second behind the jack. Uh, but the rest, it start gaining a lot of time uh, between the drivers. And I believe Tazo is the closest one right now. Uh, the second one is uh, Mateusz behind Juro and Deba behind Myros. So these three are in the potential fight for uh, positions right now. Baran is fighting with the Mateusz. Mateusz spun once again. Uh, this might be painful for him. 
Yeah, it's pretty much going to be the end of his sprint race, unfortunately. Uh, unless we get a, a yellow flag. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's unfortunate for him and his, uh, his race. The um, So far, though, Jack on P4 is going to see the close of the top three. But uh, what, a, what a drive so far from him. Oh, no. Mateo just wrecked himself. And... This will be a safety car, ladies and gentlemen, in the sprint race. I know that you are happy, truly, but it is what it is. It's Canadian Grand Prix, and these situations happens. I would say it's like JJ's curse. That's uh, that's kind of unfortunate. Hopefully, uh, we didn't, I didn't catch it, but hopefully, he didn't do that intentional. Um, but uh, yeah, um, unfortunate safety car here to bring out. Uh, uh, it's gonna neutralize the field and uh, kind of uh, bring a few people back into this race to include uh, Puhash and uh, Baran and Kushor. Yeah, right now Myros, Myros with another penalty and Juro with a three second time penalty because of the multiple warnings. And I believe uh, Myros received a speeding into the pit line. So it's definitely a not good sprint race for Myers. Yeah, unfortunately he will have a looks like a drive through to serve. I believe we will have like maybe two laps under the safety car because it comes to almost the end of the sprint race. Uh, we still have four laps to go and right now Ignas John Meister of course, they are leading, but it might change very quickly because we have a Jack on the P4 and Buczek on the P3. Um, if they somehow find the pace just to overtake them, this one will be a really, really interesting situation on the track. But nevertheless, it's Ignace and John, so we know that they are really fast drivers. Yeah, I... Um... If I'm those top three, though, I'm looking in my mirrors for Jack, though. Um, I think he's the, the guy to beat at the moment if it's not the top two. But, uh, yeah, the... Um, yeah, we got, you know, for a sprint race, we do have a hefty amount of penalties. Um, but, uh, yeah, can, I will say, though, uh, as a driver, it, this track is easy to pick. If you're not careful, this track is very easy to pick up penalties on. Uh, and if you're not careful, you'll somehow for some reason pick them up consistently in the same spot for whatever reason uh my bugaboo is always sector two uh, but uh but yeah one of our drivers roloski just wake up a little bit too late and he just joined uh to the lobby but uh of course he will be not uh participating in this sprint race of course maybe in a uh, main event but i guess it will be as a as a last driver on the grid. We'll see. Right now, still safety car. Uh, nothing much changed. Baran, P11, Puhach, P12, Tazo, P10, Myros, P9, Kushor, P8, Juro, Maverick, Debe, Jack, Buczek, John Meister and Ignash. This is how our grid looks like right now. And of course, I believe this might be the last lap under the safety car. It should be. I believe you are correct. I hope so. Exactly. Safety car in this lap. So let's get fun once again after the restart. And we will see that uh, Ignas and John will be able to hold P1, P2. Or maybe... Maybe Buczek, Jack, Debe. Maybe someone will be uh, making them... A little bit sweaty and try to fight for uh, these positions. We will see. The key to your restart here is actually going about right now, but it looks like uh, Ignis is going to hold off to the very bit here. But uh, yeah, a lot of drivers will actually start the restart in that back sector here before the chicane. Exactly, and then make the rest of really fast. Tazo with overtake. Myros uh, decide to go to the pit lane when they decide to go for the restart and nothing's changed actually because the distance between the cars was definitely too long between the drivers so right now we're still holding that pace that we have uh, previously right now Kuchur with the three second time penalty Jack is trying to catch uh, Buczek, Buczek is still holding a, like a lion his P3 
and I believe he will not try to uh, lose that Debe with spin. Lost a lot of time and a lot of positions right now on the P11. Puchacz is trying to catch out the rest, losing half of the second. Baran P9, something happening on this corner. Kusho lost two, two positions because of the uh, small mistakes. Right now, Baran just behind the Tazo. He's going inside, but uh, there was definitely too light breaking and he crashed out on Juro. Juro, Juro lost uh, three places uh, because of that. Baran didn't earn anything and Tazo on the P6. Uh, Maverick currently losing 2.2 uh, seconds behind the Jack and the top four currently is trying to fight for the best as they can and only them are, are really clean drivers what i mean is of course without the penalties yeah very patient drivers at least for right now uh, i would been riding along with the top four since the restart and um you know jack's been kind of right there within you know three four you know about three four tenths max away um just kind of patiently looking to make a move. Um, I, I definitely think he's going to be a, a, a yeah, good contender for a podium spot. Uh, but uh, Buczek is no slouch as a defender. So uh, it's going to be quite the challenge for Jack. But uh, kind of uh, the two Mercedes you see uh, running away from him a little bit now is kind of uh, the, you know, I think it's going to be the same with uh, the Mercedes guys. It's going to be a, a GG for them. Yeah, and also it's GG for the Juro because he, DNF, will not have, of course, the safety car because it's like the last lap of the sprint race. Uh, Mario jumped in front of the Juro on the P11, so almost every single driver will receive some uh, part of the points on this sprint race. But uh, we currently on the last lap in the sprint race, DRS enabled, and if they will be able they will hold P1 and P2 by the whole race. Mercedes team are currently flying and main event. Um, I don't believe there will something change because Ignas and John Meister have an, um, an absolutely amazing pace right now. And Myros is just disqualified from the session because ignoring of the true penalty. Yeah, just kind of a... Um... Bad day for a lot of people here, unfortunately. It's just uh, need to kind of pick themselves up and move on to the next. We still have a race coming up. Exactly. So, Juro, Mateusz, and Myros can possibly focus fully on the main event that we will be participating in a moment. But right now, as we can see, Puchacz fight with the Baran. Baran was pushed to the wall, but have a definitely better exit. I don't know how he done it, but uh, Puchacz is just right behind the Baran. I believe uh, there will be a DRS and it will be very strong right now. That's with the 3 second time penalty, Ignaz on the P1, John P2, Buczek P3, Jack P4, Tazo uh, just behind the Maverick because of the penalties, Maverick P5, Puchacz P6, Tazo lost uh, to P7, Kushor P8, Baran P9 and Debe P10. Yeah, what a uh, what a finish uh, with uh, Jack and uh, Buczek there. As you see, Jack is your end game driver of the day. But uh, yeah, I'm excited for this upcoming race. Yeah, and Jack definitely deserves for that uh, driver of the day. He done a really really good job, and I cannot wait until, of course, the main event, Creme de la Creme, Grand Prix of Canadian Grand Grand. Prix, I don't know how to call. It. Never mind. Uh, that's the Canadian that country. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, uh, these are our results. The points will be added, of course, to do every single driver account. And we're going for the main event. Be right back and don't go anywhere. All right. Cars are set on the grid. Five lights are up. We'll see who can take it. Will it be more of the same for Mercedes? Now away we go. It's like a relatively clean start from all the cars. Looks like, uh, ooh, almost a little bit of contact from the McLaren, but he gets through the run runoff there. The Red Bull and the Williams as well between Jack and Maverick getting a little bit close together as well. Uh, Ignis Varnes and John Meister are up in P1, P2. It's like we'll see. Uh, yeah, just like the start of the last race. Uh, ooh, I look, I almost, we had an Alpine in the back almost get sideways as well. Looks like a Matouche almost getting into the wall as well. Matouche had a bad finish. Um, as he creeps up into P10 at the moment. 
Buchak up at the P3. Jack close behind. Taza right on the back of Maverick here as well. A little bit of a separation going between P5 and the rest of the gang here. But we'll see. Ooh, looks like we have a safety car. What's going on? Did you see what happened there, uh, Syntex? Yeah, it was a, actually we have a virtual safety car because uh, there was a huge, huge uh, mess. Uh, Debe uh, hit on the back uh, Baran, I believe, uh, in the end of the sector one. Uh, Puhach also spun in the same corner just before the DRS section. And uh, I believe that's why we have a uh, virtual safety car. Roloski right now currently on the P11, Kushor P10. Mateusz uh, perform an amazing uh, beginning of the race right now. P9, Debe P8, Myros P7. I don't know what is happening between Juro and Baran. We still have a safety car, Puhach, on the P14 going to the pit lane because of uh, the broken wing. Debe is the only driver currently on the track that decide to go the goes uh, with the soft compound so it's really interesting maybe they better decide to go for the double pit strategy we will see that's on the p6 maverick holds his p5 jack bucek ignas and john meister as in the sprint race yeah i will say uh they got a little bit of help uh, from the virtual safety car, but Debe will have a little bit of a challenge on those softs. But we do have an equal mix. Ooh, has Red Bull has gone round. Is that Buchek? Yeah, yeah Buchek has gone round. Yeah, uh, both cars are in it, but I think some might have some damage. Do you see any damage? No, I don't see any front wing damage. Ooh, as a Jack just going to plow into Buchek there. What's going on with these two? I don't know, but it looks like a really dirty move from Jack. On yeah. that uh, hairpin, uh, we'll see uh, from the reports. Right now, Tazo is just uh, milliseconds behind the Maverick. Uh, John Ignace with the fastest lap of the race. Tazo, Debe, Kusho, Roloski, and who else? Who else wants to go with the fastest lap? It holds with the uh, Roloski, and uh, DRS is enabled right now. And let's bring the fun, guys. Yeah, I will say quick note, uh, big big start from Maverick, Tazo, and Debbie as they had a, uh, uh, Debbie, I'm sorry, both had a, uh, a kind of a so-so a, a finish to the last uh, last race in the sprint, but they are hard charging this race. But uh, yeah, uh, more of the same from the Mercedes, uh, John Meister on the mediums, Ignis on the hard, so we will see a staggered strategy there. But uh, but yeah, um, one penalty, unfortunately, already for Maros, uh, currently in P6, but he does have a penalty. Um, Hopefully he can keep that to a minimum, but we're going to see uh, Roloski up in the P8 or fighting for P8 here as he's going to um, get around the McLaren Akusha, it looks like. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're, we're going to see see what he brings at the uh, at the later stages, probably towards the middle stages. He will probably get up towards uh, towards Debe here rather quickly as he those softs, I think. Uh, how long do you think those softs will go for uh, with given how fast he's going because he's, he's got the pace? Yeah, I would say less than eight, maybe nine laps, but no more. Yeah, you don't want to. Um, and also, once he starts to fall off, we're going to we'll upset the drivers behind him, wanting to get around him and stay within that DRS train. So uh, we'll see if. Because uh, right now we have, uh, looks like from P3 down, we have a rather lengthy, uh, lengthy train, a six car train. So um, we'll see what happens here. But almost, uh, almost four seconds, but three and a half second gap from the two Mercedes up in front. That's crazy. Jack with the three second time penalty because of the track limits right now and he's sitting on the back of the Juro. Juro just spun out in front of the Jack and there was no contact. I will repeat, there was no contact between Juro and Jack. Just for information for the steward, there's nothing happened. Jack didn't uh, touch Juro. Uh, Kusher currently on the P9, Roloski P8 and Mateusz P7. So this fight uh, will be very interesting. Both of these drivers have an amazing pace and an amazing skills to drive these really fast cars. And we will see right now uh, Debe overtake the Maverick just at the end of the straight before the uh, chicane and also earn three seconds time penalty. Myros uh, overtake the Maverick and Mateusz and Roloski are getting closer and closer. So. Definitely battle for the P4 will be extremely challenging and extremely interesting for us. Yeah, I, uh, I'm still more in awe at the, at the pace of the Mercedes. This is insane. Uh, 
uh, yeah, it's a close race throughout the rest of the grid, but uh, uh, Roloski up in the P7 already. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of feel for Jack. and down, He's up in the P10 already, but Jack in that, uh, that boot check collision there, um, I, I don't know if that was intentional or not when he kind of locked up and, and hit Buchek at the hairpin there, but, you know, that that's kind of a scenario where hopefully he can clean it up because he's a good driver, but not not you can't be a good driver when you're driving angry. Exactly. Very smart. That the P4. Oh. Oh, no, like Roski kind of just spun. Yeah, that's unlucky there down in the P11. Exactly, right behind him is Baran, Buhat, and Juro, but they are losing 20 seconds behind him. Debe going to the pit lane, I don't know why, and uh, somehow we have safety a safety car. car. I don't know what? why, and Juro with the drive through penalty speeding under the safety car. I have no idea why do we have a safety car. Juro That's... decided to retire. That's crazy. That's such a cheap pit stop for Debe. He he timed that perfectly. Um, he was go. He was already in the pit entrance when that yellow flag came out. But that that's a perfect pit stop for the McLaren driver. Exactly. Okay. So um, Mario with six seconds of penalties. Uh, Jack with three and Debe with three, but. Uh, I think Debe's pit stop strategy is going to neutralize that penalty, I think. Um, we'll see what happens here. Any more? Do you think any more will come off in the pits early? Probably not, because those mediums can go a lot farther than five laps. Of course. So definitely drivers did not go for the new pair of uh, tires, because it's not necessary. Maybe if some someone have a special strategy with the double pit stop, I don't know, maybe, but in my opinion, in this case, it will be pointless, it will be so much better to start on the soft compound, but we'll see. Um, but let's talk about the Mer Mercedes uh, boys' uh, pace, because it, it amazed me, uh, just before the safety car uh, came out, uh, Ignash and John Meister have like four, almost five seconds uh, time gap between them and uh, on the third place Tazo. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning of the race, they are in the flying mode and I'm truly convinced that they are able easily to win this race, but I really don't know where they found such an amazing pace because um, we can compare uh, their times from the last season uh, when, when they weren't such a, an amazing drivers, but in this season they look like out of of this planet like i have no words just to describe how good they are doing in this season and i'm i'm amazed about that uh, absolutely um uh it's like they almost have their own different it's like a separate car um but uh uh, but yeah, sometimes, you know, you'll see a group of drivers, you know, sometimes it's one, sometimes it's five, uh, where they are absolutely just lightning. And, um, yeah, this is technically a street circuit and it, you know, I, I like tracks that require timing and there's a lot of safety car in this lap, by the way. Um, I like tracks that require timing and there's, this track is filled with chicanes and turns that require great timing, um, and also a good foot. Uh, mm -hmm. And if you're off on either either of those, you're gonna lose time. And that, and, and you could be a, a good driver, a fast driver, but that's the difference from sometimes those guys who are, you know, four or five yeah. seconds out in front and yeah. you know, blah 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 blah. So yeah, we're gonna see these tires get fired up. Uh, tires get fired up. We're gonna see this restart going up. Looks like the Mercedes crew is gonna go early, uh, and we're gonna see green green f uh, flag action coming back at you. Uh, Maros in P4, we're going to hold on to him and watch him, see what happens. He's going to be kind of an obstacle to everybody behind. Looks like uh, Maverick's going to look to scoop him up quickly. And the, uh, ooh, for a second, I thought the uh, uh, Matouche was going to rear in somebody for a split second there. But, uh, oh, he's going to go for a spin. Or was that uh, Jack? That's Jack. Oh, no. So, I saw him go off at the last second. That is unfortunate for Jack. He had a great day ahead of him, but it's not going to be a great finish. I'm so sorry for Jack, but it will be so difficult to come back 
in such a condition we don't have a car so he no, will okay. finish P13 right now so, and of course we don't have a safety car. Yep, yep. So yeah, uh, we'll see. Uh, right now Kushor and Buchek are going at it. Looks like uh, Buchek's all over the diffuser of the McLaren. We'll see if he can make a move here going into this hairpin. No, he's going to hold off. But uh, yeah, ooh, can he get a better exit? No, he will not. Uh, but yeah, right now uh, Buchek's splitting the McLaren. Uh, I will say quick comment on Debe. He's having a heck of a race so far. Uh, he had that big time pit stop at the beginning of that safety car, so I think he's going to be uh, uh, be positioned well uh, in his strategy going into the later part of this race. Exactly, and Buchek right now overtake Kushor uh, just before the chicane, and he's currently on the P7 trying to catch out once again Mateusz, Maverick, Myros, and Kazo bringing back him on the podium, but. Uh, of course, Tazo is holding P3 right now. Uh, he have uh, a small time gap between him and P4, but he is also losing two seconds behind the Ignace and John Meister. So it will be extremely difficult just to catch out these two amazing Mercedes drivers. And while we have a safety car, uh, Bradley side on the char, it's because of the car. Anyone in Mercedes can dominate. I could agree <laughs> with that maybe two three years ago but not anymore now if you have red bull engine honda or something like this car uh it's not even dominance uh, um is like showing how much uh you can prove your time in front of the rest and make other drivers like such a fools when you are overtaking them like the second lap in a row so so yeah but dearness is enabled once again after uh, safety car conditions and Tazo is start losing a lot of time Myros uh, somehow managed to go under the one second door uh, Mateusz excuse me uh, two and a two seconds behind Myros Ma Maverick losing less than a second Buchen just right behind the Maverick, 0.3 tenths of a second. Kushor also less than a half of second behind the Buchek. Uh, Debe very close to Kushor. Baran sitting on the back of Debe. Roloski also trying to catch out. And Puhach, exactly the same story. Yeah, I will say, barring any major uh, mistakes or catastrophes, we're going to see a heck of a three car fight between Maverick, Buchek, and Kushor. Um, uh, I will say Maverick is on the hards, but uh, uh, we're, we've seen these cars really close together. I, uh, the the Red Bull of Buczek is very hungry today. Uh, I don't think uh, I think we're going to see him finish potentially much better than P7 at the moment. But uh, yeah, I um, I wonder if we'll see those Mercedes guys fight fair. But it's just pretty much those two in a race of their own, like we've been saying. So. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, Roloski up at the P10. Uh, he's penalty free at the moment. He's uh, you know charging on the back of Baron, but uh, I think he, uh, Baron, Baron's you know got good pace too. Um, maybe they can join that three car scrap with uh, you know um, the uh, Alphatari, the Red Bull, and the McLaren. Uh, we'll see. But we have a ton, a ton of race uh, left to go. Uh, not even close to the halfway point. So. Uh, but yeah, you've already what, had two safety cars or two safety cars in a virtual or something like that. Yeah, exactly. One safe, two, two safety cars and one virtual safety car. So two casualties already. Unfortunately, Jack and Zero had to had to not finish. Unfortunately, so that's uh, just a bad day for them. Unfortunately, but uh, both are good drivers. I'm sh sure we'll see them back in good form next race. Myers just spun. Yeah, Myers just spun, and right now he's currently on the P12. Uh, technical difficulties just to go straight on the track and he will be losing a lot, a lot behind the Debe. Nevertheless, Debe losing over two seconds and we can clearly see that something is not working in the McLaren. Because uh, Debe is, was driving with a really, really, really good pace, uh, but somehow he just lost four positions in, in normal fighting situation. And he was like the last, uh, last on the grid, uh, behind the Baran, Roloski, and Puhach. Uh, but right now, of course, P11, one position behind the points. We'll see because, as you mentioned, it's still not even a half of this race. So, we'll see. Yeah, I wonder if. Um, I wonder if. Um, 
Maverick has damage on that Alpha Tari car because he got just scooped up bad by uh, Buchek and the uh, and the Red Bull. He he just blew by him, and uh, he's already almost two seconds ahead of him. But uh, yeah, I um, I was watching those two kind of go at it a little bit um, at the moment. But it looks I'm like I'm so sorry, uh, but why we have safety car right now? Yeah, I was about to say we just had a safety car <laughs> banner come across the screen there, huh? Every single driver was driving normally on the track, and somehow we have a safety car. It's like nonsense right now. Yeah, Kusho was looking to make a move on Baran, and uh, just boom, uh, safety car. Um, and not a virtual either. It's a, so we're gonna see a ton of drivers coming to the pits. It looks like. Um, yeah, the pit lane will be very busy. Yeah, this is kind of an interesting time to be changing tires, though, because I think we're going to see a lot of soft finishers, personally. Uh, this is my prediction. I think we're going to see a, a few soft finishers. It's not worth it, because the best strategy in this game is goes to medium to hard or hard to mediums, to be honest. Yes. No other way. True, yes, you're absolutely correct. But not if you have a sea of safety guards. Yeah, of you course, know. it's, it's changed the strategy <laughs> in any other way. Right. Nevertheless, it's still not worth, even if we have a safety car on the track, it's not worth to go for the soft compound because you, you can think, okay, we'll have a, the next safety car. Okay, but if the rest will stay, you will lose more positions because any other driver will have, for example, hard compound. So you will lose more than actual actually wearing the hard compound and going uh, under the safety car just just behind him. Yeah, you would have to have help from a safety car. You wouldn't do it on a, on a green. You would not do that on a green lap. Um, you would have to be in a scenario where you have another safety car or a virtual safety car. And if you're near that pit entry, it doesn't take very long to go in there for a set of sauce. Yeah, but, but nevertheless, I still don't understand why we have a safety car. Oh, no yeah. one crash, no one spin. <laughs> I don't. I really don't get it. Yeah, that's uh, well, that's F1 for you, I guess. Thanks, EA and Cody's. Uh, uh, but yeah. Now Myros uh, is spinning behind the uh, chicane. It's understandable, but it's not for the safety car. Yeah, it's oh. crazy. We had we had Jack crash out, and they kept it green, and then now it's just exactly. Yeah. Well, ma FIA. Right. Wink, 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 wink. So you will see uh, Ignis Varnes and Roloski still do to come into the pits. Debe will come into the pits eventually, probably as well. But um, everyone else on fresh tires, fresh ish tires. Yeah, um, but Debe still have like 12 laps on this hard compound. Uh, same as Roloski and Ignas, I ate seven laps on this heart, so it might get them a huge advantage of the rest. Maybe not only John Meister, because he have a fresh pair of the heart, so he can easily go under uh, in the in this heart compounds and uh, to the end, of course, of the race. Uh, that's what I wanted to say. Uh, but I, I'm not sure about it, to be honest. We'll see. It's like pre. Pure gamb gambling right now. Right. And safety uh, car in this lap. We will find out what the fall off or the delta fall off is here later on at the end of this race, but uh, we'll see how this restart takes shape. We'll say, um, you know, I, Debe's had a heck of a race so far, um, and he's going to look to get up there further as we're going to have. Green flag coming at you. Ignis Varnes is going off and away, and we're going to have uh, Roloski already falling the back behind a little bit. But John Meister's already over the back of Debe looking to get a move done, and he's going to get it done. Oh, maybe not. Debe's going to make a fight for it. He's going to struggle on traction, but he's going to stay ahead. Debe still. Actually, never mind. I'm watching the wrong car. <laughs> John Meister up in the P3. My mistake. Debe down in the P5. Taz up in the P4. Puyash, three second time penalty. Uh, but we're still clean, clean start. Yeah, nothing happened. And finger crossed for the rest, rest of the race because I don't want to see any other safety cars out of nowhere without a reason. 
uh, if no one will crash to destroy his car in a half, I don't want to say that because it's uh, it's questionable. But never, never mind. Let's go back to uh, to the race. Uh, of course, right now drivers are fighting for the best Ooh, position. Matushkin hit in the rear by Maverick. Yeah, and also that's why he hit. Uh, there's a small, small touch uh, between Mateusz and Buczek. and but uh, Maverick is trying to pretend uh, and perform an attack, but there's also Baran, they're going three wide and uh, somehow Mateusz has managed to hold his uh, place, but Baran is still fighting with the Maverick, uh, we can also see that uh, there's coming uh, Kushor, Byrus and Puchacz just behind them, uh, wheel to wheel, every single car, but right now uh, Baran is pushed off the track because of the Myros, I believe. Or Maverick, oh. I'm not sure about it. How we went three wide in that final shot Kane and not one person was was hit, that is beyond me. That was great reaction and great driving from everybody involved. And we need to admit that Baran is, uh, showed his uh, courage and he is not afraid of anything. <laughs> You're right. But really important message to everyone, Ignas with the three second time penalty. So that's gonna, that's this gonna come might big. change a lot. Yeah, this might change a lot. Uh, at least for one thing, certain, at least against his teammate. Exactly. I didn't saw uh, that either. Uh, so, um, oh wait, no, both have a penalty. I'm sorry. Um, what's the, uh, so three seconds apiece. So that's gonna be neutralized for both of them. So just Team Mercedes is is vulnerable now though with those penalties so um and they're all on the oldest tires right now aside from debe as drs is enabled but uh yeah um Roloski up in the p2 so far heck of a drive from him we'll see how his day finishes when he gets on to his next stint but um i will say maverick's penalty free he's down in p8 at the moment um Buczek is penalty free as well uh so i think Buczek's due for a good finish as well so um what do you think well, beside of that mystery safety car, I mean, with the green flag action, at least, what do you think? Um, who's the biggest winner and who's the biggest loser? Right now, definitely. <laughs> so sorry. Uh, definitely Roloski is the biggest winner right now because from last to almost to first, and he's really close to do that. And biggest loser, sad to say that, but I would say Jack because he was also performing a really, really good... Uh, a jo job done yeah. on, on this yeah. track but somehow I, I don't know what happened i only saw him like flying uh, on the second second yeah second turn on the wall strictly so yeah it's so sorry for the track yeah uh, i believe he started today uh p4 he finished the race in p4 last the p4 and then he started this race p4 but unfortunately he fell out early a uh, quick exchange from john meister and roloski they're going at it it looks like uh, hopefully he doesn't become an obstacle, but uh, just like last race, we pretty much have a top group of four against everybody else. Yeah, it looks like. And nevertheless, Ignaz with an amazing pace already in front, on, uh, less than a two seconds, 1.6 in front of the Roloski. So it will be a really difficult job to do uh, just to catch out the Ignaz, uh, taking into consideration that uh, he have a three second time penalty. So Roloski might need to fight with everything what he have, the with the three second time penalty, and maybe maybe there's a chance for Roloski to stand on the podium as a winner today. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah. And right now, of course, we are in the half of the race because I forgot to mention that. Just now, eclipsing the halfway point, but. Uh... Looks like John Meister is getting frustrated with uh, Roloski still in front of him, but uh, we're going to see if he can make a move on this front straight away going into turn number one and out of two and three. Roloski's not going to give him much space. Looks like the Mercedes is going to make this move stick. He just has too much tire advantage with those with those old old hards versus the new hards. Uh, it's like uh, Roloski will be getting scooped up by Tazo here soon as well. Um, it's okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, what happened there? Did Rol Taza make Rol contact? Yeah, Roloski pushed out of the track, Tazo, and Tazo lost a lot. He have uh, damage to wing, and I don't believe that Tazo will be able to come back to fight for the podium. And we have another safety car. Oh, oh my yeah. god. That's crazy. That was a big hit, too. So, 
Um, hopefully that's all he has damage to the front wing. But yeah, he, I was just, he just went into the wall like a rocket ship. But yeah, it looked like he made contact. And that's what he did. But he said he was pushed off. Uh, Roloski pushed him off. Oh, yes. Yes, Roloski looks like he pushed off the track Tazo. That's why he finished on the wall. Somehow he managed to survive, but it will be difficult because Tazo needs to go to the pit lane and he'll, he'll lost a lot of positions, definitely. It will be so extremely difficult just to go back to the place that he was previously. Of course, more cars in the pits, um, but uh, yeah, the stewards will definitely be on standby for that ex incident, and they will definitely uh, give that a thorough review. Uh, you hate to see that too. That was such, that was going to be a good battle. But I mean, you gotta you gotta know when you're on. I will say when you're on that much of a difference on tire, you know, you should know when to be like, hey, you know. Uh, I need to pick my battle and I'm not at, you know, at least on this dent I'm not racing this particular car because he's that much ahead of me yeah but, so uh, right now every single driver have almost a fresh pair of tires mostly mostly uh, with the mediums only Buczek and John Meiser decided to stay with the uh, seven old lap hard compound so John and Meiser uh, John and Buczek uh, have a really, really good position right now on the track because these tires are not that much used. Uh, of course, Mateusz and Myros uh, and Maverick and Puchacz, uh, seven slash eight uh, old lap medium compound. They also might get uh, until the end on this uh, compound of this race. But I believe John and Buczek are in a much much better uh, situation right now. Uh, I agree. Uh, the thing is, though, also with Roloski's pace, and he's penalty free on track, um, which, mind you, he might have an off track punishment coming, depending on what the stewards say, um, if he is guilty of any wrongdoing. Uh, but he will definitely have a, a clear shot at, at making a charge, along with Ignis. Uh, him and Ignis are just going to make a punch through that field to get back up there. And I think once they get to Matouche in P3, um, based on what we've seen so far today, um, they'll have a little bit of a challenge. So I think that yeah, the, the top three to five finish might be a really good one. Yeah, because it might change everything because of the penalties. But do not forget that uh, Ignas and John and Roloski and Tazo have an amazing pace. Yeah, so they are able to fight for that podium also. Um, but right now, all of the top four have a time penalty, so this might change everything. Right, right, I agree, I agree. It's like Brad down in the, in the comments saying Spain. <laughs> uh, it feels like Spain. Uh, but uh, the... Uh, we have more say, Spain in Canada than in actual Spain. Or the, right. Like the, the Spanish they say Spain. Spain. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, safety car in this lap. We're going to go green flag here in just a few moments. Uh, we'll get, let's go back up to the front of the field here. Uh, top five, John Meister, Buczek, Matush, Maros, and Maverick. Uh, we still have a grid full of penalties, though, so the order will likely get shaken up at the finish. But... We'll see what the uh, what these drivers will do. We've seen kind of both early starts and early starts. Looks like the Mercedes is going to go early-ish. Uh, he's going to get a rapid go against the, the back two cars, though. Um, looks like we'll see if uh, Matush can make a move on Buchek coming up. Taza with a three-second time penalty. Um, going back through the field here. Any, any shenanigans? So far, so good. Nothing too crazy. Looks like Ignis yeah. Varnes and Roloski still right on the back of each other. Um, but yeah, up in this top top set here, this top three, um, John Meister is already just a rocket ship away from everybody else, so he's going to be in a comfort zone early. But uh, looks like Buczek has got his hands full defending the softer mediums of uh, Matush. Um, we'll see what happens there. Looks like a little bit of a shakeup. We have somebody spin. 
It's like Maros. Yeah, Maros has minus. fallen down the order, yeah. Maros has done once again, spun out and fallen out. Three second time penalty to Matush. That's not going to help his cause. Yeah, and when we check in the time penalties, John Meister and Buczek and Tazo, three second time penalty. Uh, Mateusz and Ignas and Debe, six seconds. And Myros already 15 seconds time penalty. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, that's that's crazy stuff. Exactly, and it might be a very, very uh, not comfortable situation, definitely for Mateusz, while he need to have to find more than six seconds just to uh, go in front of the Maverick if he want to hold that uh, P3. Right. But it will be difficult. I'm not going will, to lie. I will say right now, currently, uh, depending on this, these last uh, you know, uh, 11 or 12 laps go, uh, the drivers with the most to gain right now are Maverick and Merlowski. On track wise. Yeah. Right now, Ignas with another three oh. seconds. So this, this nine seconds time penalty is uh, taking Ignas in a really bad condition because if nothing change, he will be P11, so totally out of the points. If Tazo managed to somehow find more points, uh, the situation with the current uh, championship leading might change. Uh, like a lot, Maverick with another three seconds time penalty. So we have only Roloski, Baron, and Kushor without any penalties. Yeah, it's gonna be like earlier this season. It's gonna feel oh. like Carlos. Ooh, Maverick has spun. Maverick has spun. Oh, that's unlucky for him. It's gonna down, fall down to the last place. Uh, but Ignis is gonna feel like Carlos signs earlier this year, being bounced out from a top spot. The McLaren of Debe's gone around as well. Yeah, Baran with three seconds time penalty, and so only left Kushor and Roloski without any penalty. Nothing will... fancy is doing on the track right now, and Ignas is uh, 0 0.2 behind the bull check. Do you think he will be able to overtake him right now? Of course, with the DRS section. I mean, yeah, but I mean, at this point, a tall task to do to, to gain much of anything with these time penalties. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, salvage what you can, but uh, at this point, bring the car home as best you can. Uh, don't crash. But uh, yeah, that that's those nine seconds are going to hurt. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So that's why I believe Ignace will need to find as much space behind him as he will we be able to, to make because there's no other option just to hold his position by finding the time on the track. I think as it sits right now, the only car in this top four he's racing is Buchet. Or not Buchet, but Matush. Because uh, he's three seconds, or he's got six seconds of time penalties. So all I gotta do is, Maros is gonna do a fastest lap of 111.832. Um, but all uh, Ignis would have to do is get a hold, get a, in front of Matouche by three seconds or more, and then he can hold out. So he's really only racing him. I don't think, unfortunately, he's going to be a challenge for a top step anymore. But uh, uh, yeah, just the way it goes. I'm afraid that Myros will be warning for disqualification in this race if he will earn any more uh, penalties. Already 18 seconds on the track. I remember when in Austria it was uh, when. Uh, when Matej have, or maybe it wasn't Austria, maybe any other track. Uh, nevertheless, Matej have a 24 seconds of uh, the penalties. Right now, Roloski performing an attack on Buczek and he done it. Roloski currently on the P4 and will be trying to atta uh, attack Ignace Debe with another 3 seconds time penalty. Uh, so this race is a little bit messy. Nothing fancy is doing on the on the track. Uh, nothing aggressive between the drivers, but still uh, very enjoyable and uh, and yeah, usual Sunday with FRL. <laughs> right, we've had some good moments like that three wide going into that final chicane. That was yeah. insane. 
Exactly. Or maybe uh, when the Jack was trying to attack on the last chicane and somehow he yeah. find the space on the Tazo. But now Virus, I don't know what Puhash happens. But... Puhash is out. Well, he might be out, but he's not out, but he's spun. He has yeah. Been. And he's still spinning, so I believe the temperature on the wheels is uh, really high. Right now he's drifting and he's not able to uh, drive in the straight way. I praying for not have a safety car, but he's not able to go with a small amount of the throttle because he is sliding. So, ladies and gentlemen, is like the drifting school with Puhat today. And right now he will show us how to drift, how to perform a drift on the straight road. So, Ignis Varn is, is clear of Matush, so all he has to do is get three seconds ahead and he will hold on to his P2. Oh wait, no, he will not hold on to his P2. He still has quite a bit, but he, he will beat Matush. Yeah, there will come time that uh, John Meisters will start losing uh, time on this uh, on this hard compound. And Puhat also decided to go uh, to, to retire in this race. So we have only 10 drivers. That's very sad, of course, but there's a chance to earn the points for every single driver that is currently participating in this race. Puhaj also left his session, so thank you yep. so much Puhaj for today's race. And right now Roloski overtake uh, Mateusz. Roloski is trying to catch Ignas. Uh, it wouldn't be a problem, but I believe Ignas will try to help right now as much as he can uh, of his teammate John Meister because he have only three second time penalty. Uh, of course, Ignas will definitely lose a few positions because of these 9 seconds, but still John Meister might also lose his winning in this race because Rolski have no penalties, oh, yeah. so this, he... this might be crucial. Well, here's a scenario for you. So he, here's the thing. Rolski can pretty much kind of park it in a sense because he's your net, he's your net race winner at the moment. Mm -hmm. But with that incident with um with tazo i believe where he pushed tazo off yeah. track that might bring a post race penalty so he really has to now push and finish ahead on track and get as much time as he can because he might he might have a scenario where he might be deducted of of position or whatever because of a penalty if he does get one but he has exactly. that thought in the back of his mind but if that wasn't the case, he could just put it in cruise control right now and coast to a win. <gasps> Both of the Mercedes drivers are right now just earn another time penalty. So John Meister have already six seconds and Ignace just already have 12 seconds. So there is no chance to hold this uh, P1 and P12. Even if Rolowski will receive a five seconds time penalty, uh, there's no chance for John Meister to, re to win this race because of these six uh, seconds of the penalty right now. Uh, Mateusz also have six seconds, so I'm not sure, but there is a still chance for Taz to stand on the podium. Yeah, it's crazy here. If you're Total Wolf right now, you are throwing your headset. Yeah, and it's so hard to predict how the end of this race might look like. Uh, still, we have, of course, the six lap until the end of this race, uh, but this is huge. Yeah, this is a total meltdown for Team Mercedes, unfortunately. Um, and, you know, you're going to see some of those P4, P5, P6 guys be like, wait a minute, what's going on here? Um, but, yeah, I um, uh, just finished the race. We're going to bring home at least one point as we only have 10, 10 alive so far. This track holds no prisoners or takes all prisoners, I guess. Or takes no prisoners, I should say. Um, Roloski, Roloski has front wing damage, I'm reporting. Yeah, he is missing an end plate on that. Williams right that is side. unlucky for him. On yeah, the right, on the right side. side. Yeah, uh, no end plate for him. So that's going to put a damper on his plans. But he might be able to... I've seen guys before stay on track and hold position. Um, he's going to start shedding time to the cars in front. Oh my god. Until the end of this race, it will be so nerves. Uh, I'm actually shaking because currently we have a five laps until the end of this race, but nothing, like clearly nothing, is 
sure for 100% because everything, everything will change. Yes, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be a mathematician to get uh, get this order finished out. Five laps until the end of this race and nothing. And we don't know anything. So basically, if they will go with the five laps, it will be exactly the same situation. And Roloski kind of staying around, you know, two seconds sub twos down from John Meister. So yeah, uh, we'll see if, if that's going to be the, the gap difference. Because um, Matush is struggling behind him, it looks like. But if that's going to be the gap difference. Roloski is going to be just fine in terms of probably finishing this race in P1. But uh, yeah, but but yeah look, uh, even Tazo just joined that fight. And Baran is also catching them. Uh, oh, yeah. Because Roloski is losing a lot of time. Look, uh, between uh, Roll oh, there's something happened and Mateusz just spun, Matusha I believe. Spun. Matusha spun. Oh, it will cost him a lot. It will cost him a lot. That's Nevertheless, let's there. come back for the fight. Uh, Baran and Tazo just catch out a lot, a lot uh, behind that uh, Rolowski. And Rolowski just start losing a lot of time behind John Meister. Even John Meister is start losing a lot of time behind Ignace Vernas. And I have no idea how is that even possible. How? Like... Did you want this pace in like lace maybe? I don't know. I have no idea. Out of nowhere, he just found out like three seconds when they were go going almost to wheel to wheel. I remember when Ignas was two, yeah, two laps ago, uh, he was overtaking John and they were like 0 0.4 seconds between themselves. And right now, I have no idea where he did found this time. But I wish decide to go to the pit lane and we will see Roloski with a three second time penalty. So, oh. Now he has to finish ahead of the cars behind. Yeah. But Mateusz decided to go for the softs and Kushor is the only driver that has no any, any time penalties. There's a huge chance for jump uh, in the higher position. Maybe, we'll see. Right now Kushor is losing 4 seconds behind Bucek. Bucek has 3 seconds time penalty. So, I don't think so. This might actually change something. The only way to earn any position is right now for Roloski and Tazo and eventually Baran if they will hold the pace because John Meister and of course the Ignace because Ignace have 12 seconds, uh, 3, 6, yeah. So, uh, Ignace will finish on the P5 John Meister could possibly finish on the P4, so Roloski, Tazo and Baran have a chance to stand on the podium. But Kusho also will jump a little bit higher because of the time penalties. We'll see still two laps to go and we'll know then everything what we need. Well, I will say Roloski or Tazo is going to remember what Roloski did to him uh, earlier in this race. And he's... Uh, yeah, I hope we see a clean move, but with this little bit of a traffic jam with uh, Roloski, Tazo, and Baran, uh, we might see some last lap heroics or last lap carnage, but uh, Roloski's doing a heck of a job defending, but uh, Tazo's going to make a move. Um, Tazo's at the advantage, I think, but uh, it's going to be a scenario where uh, he's going to be careful when he does it. Yeah. Uh, it will be a really good moment for uh, making a move for Tazo. Uh, if there will be a chance for winning, it's only now. Right now with a really good exit, but I don't believe that he will be able to perform an attack just uh, before the turn. Yeah, exactly. So he need to find a much better time just to uh, join this fight in the last lap that it will bring in a moment. That Alpine is strongest in turns, uh, the, the really turns one and then where he got put into the wall, that first chicane. But he's, they're also, that car is also strong on the back straight too. So we'll see how much the battery comes into play. But, um, but yeah, um, you could make a final pass in that final chicane. But I think the move truly is, uh, going into turn one. Beautiful, beautiful inside attack 
on the Roloski. Uh, yeah, he lets him a really, there, yeah. yeah, really small amount of the space, but Tazo use it perfectly. And I'm afraid it might be a little bit too early, but there's also Baran uh, taking overtake on uh, Roloski. So situation uh, change immediately right now. And now Tazo would need to defend him like a lion on the last lap. It will be definitely so much easier than, uh, of course, uh, overtaking someone. Uh, but right now, uh, Baran and Trotsky with the DRS. Uh, Baran losing six tenths of a second behind Tazo. And of course, there will be no chance to earn that much time uh, to Tazo just to trying to attack or perform the attack. Uh, really yeah. good exit of Tazo. Yeah, I think that... Uh, that job of defending with a broken wing is just too much to ask for for that many laps for Roloski. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he did a great job uh, for, for the longest time, but uh, just just not enough towards the end, and uh, we'll see Tazo up on the podium. Exactly. Of course, uh, Ignas and John are getting closer to the end of this race, and already uh, is like 10 seconds, 11 seconds, so Ignas might find himself at the P3. Nevertheless, uh, John uh, have a six seconds uh, behind Ignas, so it might change everything. Of course, the last chicane, let's check how it will end. Of course, the first one on the finish line is Ignas. The second one is John Meister. The third one will be Tazo, but where he will jump into? Currently, on the P3. Baran P4, Roloski P5, Buciek P6, and am I counting wrong, but there was definitely not 12 seconds between them. Uh, might count them towards the end. Nevertheless, nothing changed. Taz on the podium, both Mercedes P1, P2, Baran P4, Roloski P5, Buciek P6. Kushor P7, Debe P8, Maverick P9, and Mateusz will be the last who will finish and cross the finish line in Canadian Grand Prix. Okay, uh, so after the every single driver have applied penalties, uh, we still need to wait for the FIA section and we'll see because there will be definitely a lot of reports. So for now, results as are as you can see. And of course, we need to bring our uh, double Mercedes podium and Tazo on the interview. So give us a second and just for me, I will be right back. Okay, and after a short break, we have our first uh, driver goes with the interview. Welcome, Tazo. Hello, everybody. Uh, Tazo, it's so nice to have you here once again. Um, you have a lot of different moments in today's race. It was like pure carnage momently, and sometimes it was like in the roller coaster. You were um, spinning, you were crashed, but somehow managed to stand on the podium today. So big congrats for that. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, yeah. That, that was pretty unlucky race. Race, sprint, qualifications, everything. In, in qualifications, I had five plays, grid penalty. Yeah. Uh, then in sprint, no wing on turn one. So yeah, that was tough one. Also in race, I, I lost wing when I crashed with Roloski, but mm -hmm. I still managed to go third place. I'm pretty satisfying with this. Yeah, uh, we've seen that situation uh, with Kenny that uh, Roloski did not leave you any space uh, on that corner. Um, of course, it will be reported. We believe in that. Uh, but there's, there was a small chance for you to win today in today's race, right? Uh, yeah, that was a chance that I can win this, but I need 
I need to overtake Krolowski much before okay. then uh, I I overtook him. That make Mercedes make a gap and yeah, pretty crazy pace by Mercedes. Yeah, boys. yeah, exactly. Uh, I don't know where that uh, where did both of them find the, this pace, but they was flying today really. Uh, <laughs> Taking into consideration your uh, you were standing on the podium, you are getting closer for that uh, championship fight. Uh, Graxon currently have uh, 118 points and Ignaz will have 128. But he won today's race, so he's still making that gap bigger. Uh, is there any chance that you will fight for that uh, championship title once again to defend it? Or... Uh, unfortunately, I think I'm out after this race because before I was 57 points behind Ignace. Now it will be much bigger, so mm -hmm. so it's over for me. But I hope next season I will come back stronger. Tazo, you were season four constructor championship, season five champion and constructor championship. Season 6 Champion and Constructor Championship and Season 7 Champion and Constructor Championship. How many titles you could possibly win? Come on, leave something for the rest, right? I believe it was like, okay guys, take the last one, I don't need it. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty yeah, much, I... that's it. Yeah, but I hope we will have a great battle for that championship. We have Grax and we have Ignis. So, so it will be a great battle. Yeah, if, uh, for a longer time period of time, uh, we'll have not non a Polish driver champion, right? Yeah, I think it was Graxen season two. Last yeah, time. it was we, a really, a really long time ago. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. we we will see two races. Uh, I hope we will have nice battle. Yeah, and uh, last question. Uh, how do you feel with the last two races as a Fox's Racing League admin? And next week we are going, of course, to the Shanghai, China. And the last, rain, uh, last race will be in Bahrain. And China is not my best track. I pretty much don't like it. But I think Bahrain will be good for me. Mm -hmm. I'm aiming for a podium. Uh... Yeah, and hope so new game will bring some more action, so more opportunities to win races. Yeah, definitely. Okay, Tazo, thank you so much uh, for today and big congrats for that podium because it was, I believe, really important for you. Thanks. Okay, and right now we will have our winner of the race. It will be Ignas. Welcome, Ignas. Hello. Uh, big, big congrats for today's race. Man, you are flying today. I don't know where did you find this pace, but it was absolutely amazing. Oh, thank you. Uh, you, don't, you don't need to be such a humble guy. We know that from previous, uh, previous interviews. Uh, what is the secret of, of, of this everything? Because in this season, you changed like a lot. Uh, your pace, uh, your confidence on the track, uh, your skills, it's, it's amazing. Wanna know my secret? Yeah. Uh, I turn the racing line on. You turn that's... on or turn off? Yeah, on. Oh, okay. That's, that's so... all I did. Okay. Um, so I believe this is the pure example that uh, you can go in any other way than every single driver and you can win with a, such a small uh, small exchange. Now, uh, Ignas, is, there, is still two races until the end of this, uh, of this season. Uh, Graxon and Tazo are so close to you, uh, but Tazo just told us that he's out of the competition, so your main rival will be Graxon. Graxon still have a chance in the next upcoming two races. Do you think you will hold that championship until the end of this season or the fight will be really, really close? Well, I hope that I will be able to hold my position. Well, I need to 
um, finish out of points both races if Gragson wants to win. But I hope that won't happen. I think there will be a fight. I really hope so. <laughs> yeah, it's it's amazing season right now. And you and John are doing such a good job. Uh, just tell me what are your plans for, for Shanghai next week and the last race in Bahrain? Like, I'm gonna practice a little. Just try to uh, stay... Uh, like calm, not not to stress out because every time I stress out, something bad happens. So, yeah, I'm just gonna practice a little and uh, hope for the best. Yeah, uh, in today's race you had a uh, 12 second penalty, right? It was so close just to lose that win. Yeah, it, it was. I was uh, pushing uh, so hard. I think I got those uh, penalties uh, be being behind. Uh, other guys when I pitted for mediums, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, and I was uh, like trying to overtake, but I just went a little bit too too much out of track, and you know I got the penalty because of yeah. this amazing game. Um, yeah, I was pushing a dance so much, I was sweating so much, I I can't. It's like 30 degrees now in my room. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I won it by a small gap actually. Yeah. Very small. Uh nevertheless it's uh, you deserve for that you done a really really good job uh, yeah thank you um any other commentator have anything to ask or no i will take that as a no so thank you so much ignas uh, for that interview thank you bye and good luck in next races bye bye thanks bye bye sorry i'm back on mute Ah, so it's too late already, Kenny. Okay, so that will be over for today's uh, Canadian Grand Prix Season 8 FRL. Uh, it was a pretty excited uh, race, no, not going to lie. Uh, a lot of happened today, but still we have two races left. So don't miss it out. Just uh, check our socials. And please be... join us, please, please join us. <laughs> and uh, be in touch with us. And of course, don't forget uh, about check uh, our Discord uh, link just to join uh, our server. Uh, in the next season, we'll definitely need more drivers. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll need a little bit more. We will see. Uh, of course, just subscribe to our YouTube. You have the link on uh, on uh, Twitch. And of course, uh, we don't have a. Uh, a Twitter on the, the on the chat, so we will fix that. And of course, our uh, partner Moza. Okay, so that will be everything for today. Thank you so much. Uh, it was a pleasure, Kenny, to commentate with you. And of course, our cast today, as a Bradley, because he lost his voice, but he once again did a really amazing job. So thank you so much, guys. It's always good to be here. Thank you so much. It was us your ethereal voice. Thank you so much and have a good day. Cheers. Bye. Time and it looks like Noda is going to be your winner of this Portuguese Grand Prix. champion. JJ splits in the middle, gets past both drivers.